In the world of smartphone technology, the battle for supremacy between Android and iOS has always been fierce, with each platform striving to outdo the other. A significant milestone in this never-ending competition is the release of a new flagship chip. Qualcomm, a major player in the Android ecosystem, has recently unveiled its latest creation, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which will end up on Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. On paper, this chip already seems quite compelling, but the real excitement arises when you look at the official benchmarks, which suggests that it's finally beating its rival Apple's cutting-edge 3 nanometer chip found in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. To see how the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 stacks up against the competition, Qualcomm shared benchmark results, offering Android enthusiasts an exciting glimpse into the chip's potential. In a multi-core test on Geekbench 6, the 8 Gen 3 scored an impressive 7,501, outperforming the iPhone 15 Pro Max with its Apple A17 Pro, which scored 7,237. In a single-core test, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 did fall about 600 points short of Apple's 2926 score, but still managed to gain 400 points over last year's 8 Gen 2. Additionally, Qualcomm scored a significant victory in Antutu's benchmark, achieving a score of 2 million, which significantly outpaces Apple's. These results are not only remarkable for Qualcomm, but also significant for the Android ecosystem. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 3's performance levels, while not overtaking Apple's chip in all aspects, are certainly impressive. What's noteworthy is that Qualcomm is now playing on the same level as Apple, despite the 8 Gen 3 being a 4nm chip, while the A17 Pro is a 3nm chip. This achievement showcases Qualcomm's dedication to pushing the boundaries of mobile processing power. Benchmark scores are often taken with a grain of salt, as they may not always reflect real-life usage accurately. However, when comparing two chips directly, benchmarks offer a valuable way to gauge the differences in their capabilities. It's essential to note that a higher benchmark score doesn't necessarily translate to an Android device with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 being objectively better than an iPhone. Real-world performance depends on various factors. For a more comprehensive assessment, we'll need to wait and see how these chips perform when they are integrated into actual smartphones and hit the market in the coming months. Factors like software optimization, hardware integration, and overall user experience are equally crucial in determining a device's success. As a side note, Google's Tensor G3, Google's own custom chip, didn't seem to put up much of a fight in these early benchmarks, trailing behind both Qualcomm and Apple flagships, and only barely keeping pace with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. This raises questions about Google's in-house chip design and its ability to compete with established players in the semiconductor space. In conclusion, Qualcomm's 8 Gen 3 is a promising addition to the Android ecosystem, demonstrating its ability to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Apple's 3NM powerhouse. While benchmark results are exciting, real-world performance and user experience are what truly matter. With the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 sets a new standard for performance, emphasizing that the race for smartphone superiority continues, with innovation pushing the boundaries of what our handheld devices can achieve.